The shell executor service module allows you to perform additional shell commands at various test execution phases. Let's uh, look at an example of this. So if you see on the screen, I've got uh, the shell execution module, which is first preparing by setting up a directory by the name test and then echoing a couple of uh, uh, logs into the log file and also running a post process by removing the log file. Let's look at an example of uh, this now. Now I have this uh, file here by the name uh, pre post actions yaml which is actually using the shell exec uh, module. Now what it's doing is that before the load generation starts it will create a directory by the name uh, temp logs and it will also echo the value of 1 and 2 into an example.txt file inside the logs directory and uh, it will also write down the shutdown time when the test actually uh, test script actually shuts down um, into the uh, example.txt and after the shutdown is complete as a part of the post process, it will also write this is a post process to the examples txt. So let's go and run this now. So uh, right, so the moment I run this, if you will go back and see the temp logs directory should have been created already. And if I open this, I should find the example.txt as well. And inside this, you should have the value of 1 and 2 already written because that happens at the start of the test execution. However, the uh, other two echoes of shutdown and post actions have not been written, as you can see. And the reason being that this is going to happen when the test actually ends. So let me go back and uh, kill the test so that I can show you what the output looks like. You can see that the test is shutting down. And if I now go back uh, into the temp log, as you can see here, the logs are being echoed to the temp log directory. So if I go back now and open up the example txt, you should be able to see the two other echo messages um, onto the file. We also have the monitoring module, which can allow you to monitor the CPU, memory, disk, etc. for a remote server, which can be specified by an IP or a set to local. You can also set a pass-fill criteria on the basis of the results of the monitoring as well. For example, if the CPU goes over 80%, you can actually stop and fail the test. Mm -hmm.